This is where things got really wild and felt a little bit like CSI. When we held the two over the top of each other and just sort of tracking on a screen the two paths. Yeah, it gives me uh, chills. Well, it gives me the chills a little bit to know that literally there is so much history on the right, spot right here. Today we're doing something that we are super excited about. We've been excited about this for a long time yeah. now. I don't know if you remember, but a few vlogs ago, Dane mentioned that his family are from a part of what was Czechoslovakia, and we are going there. We're on a mission. Yeah, so basically, so, um, some members of my family have traced back our family tree back to the late 1700s, early 1800s, where we've got documents that prove that the location of where my ancestors lived. So this is like my heritage. No one in my immediate family is from Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, like everybody's a Kiwi through and through, but this is as far back as we can trace. Before they jumped on a ferry in the 1800s and came to Christchurch, New Zealand via London. So we've got like names and documents and house numbers and addresses and they're in this place called Fred's Friendstadt yeah. to us. But apparently it's like Fredstadt, Mount Rodstrom or something. <laughs> I mean, we can't pronounce it obviously, but... That was a good, that was a solid yeah. effort. And so it's quite a distance though. <laughs> it's like four and a half, maybe five hours. Five hours definitely with the amount of like stopping and Random maps taking villages us through villages. Going through. Yeah. So we rented a car in Prague and today, and this whole video is just going to be us missioning to this place and trying to hunt down this tiny little village and see what it's all about where my family live. detours but <laughs> that's what you expect when you're literally driving through like the countryside this place is absolutely stunning and when you're out in the open road but it reminds us a lot of New Zealand don't you yeah, think? all the green and the open yeah, spaces really really green here um, heaps of like open fields and everything there's there's uh, rice paddies and stuff as well which looks very different to the Asian rice paddies that we've seen but still really really beautiful place and it's just surrounded by mountains but the truth is we actually don't know how a lot about the French that area or the area that we're actually in now because we've just arrived at our Airbnb which is about 15 or 20 minutes away. We think maybe that in the season it's like a skiing area yeah. within a certain, uh, within a couple of k's away from here because it must be up in the mountains. We just can't see any skiing mountains or anything. All we've seen is like some mountain biking which is generally skiing off season and like some museums and there's not much else going on. <laughs> but the main thing that has brought us here is literally all of these documents. <laughs> <laughs> this is the immigration form, the sheet that I mentioned that has tracked my family from the early 1800s traveling from Czechoslovakia to Christchurch. We've got a whole bunch of other documents here. I won't show these, they're a little bit more sensitive as well. And these are tracking back to house numbers because they didn't use in the past, there wasn't streets, you don't have a street name, everybody just had a house number and they'd start in the square and that work around until everybody just had like a number. You just house 45, house 300. It was really, really strange. And then two other really interesting maps that I found. The first one is a map that has been scanned digitally and I found it online when I was just searching around. It's from 1833 and it's a map of, of this area of Friendstadt that has all of the house numbers. And then based on these other documents that I mentioned, we've tracked back the house number to a particular location on a map, which is what the second printout is, which is Google Satellites that we have overlaid over the two. And this is where things got really wild and mm -hmm. felt a little bit like CSI. When we held the two over the top of each other with the light from the screen coming back and just sort of tracking on a screen the two paths, we've managed to, re to pick up on a couple of like monuments. Uh, the village square matches up with the village square on both maps and then the church matches as well which leads us down counting houses and down blocks to one particular location that we think is literally the house where for over a hundred years and a couple of generations my family lived and basically 
tomorrow or in a second at the end of this now is where we're <laughs> going to go tomorrow and go and try and see what's there That was a really awesome drive in. This town and the surrounding areas are really honestly so amazing. It is raining though, which is a bit of a shame, but still, everything here is just so green and so beautiful and we found our way into the main square, which if you remember, that's the first little monument that we've managed to track down. There's some amazing statues and everything, some really grand and really beautiful buildings. It's just a little square that operates around in a one way and we think over in the distance, just back behind me there, we think that's where the church is. Um, yeah, it's it's really starting to rain now actually, so we're just going to quickly jump inside. We found a little cafe, we're going to jump and sit down, have a look at the map and everything, make sense of it, and then we'll uh, yeah try and head over to the church, we think, before we head out, see more of the town, and find where this house is. and we looked over and saw this yellow building mm. and we're really lucky because it's actually a tourist information center so we just popped in and found somebody that could speak English Danger yeah. kind of tried to explain the whole yeah. situation Yeah, so her English was decent enough well, the only person that we have actually found in this area that speaks English and we sort of explained what was going on asked if there was like a records book or a history book or some sort Stop. of information or even like a phone book that we could try and track these people down and basically sadly there's there's actually nothing so I think we're just gonna have to go through the day enjoying what we can see and based on the information that we already have based on the house which was always the plan anyway we weren't yeah. really expecting anything else no. but it's good to know that we haven't missed anything so a little bit of a development that Stace doesn't know about because she was sitting in the car it started raining so hard and I was out I went back into the place that we spoke to and just started asking more I just wanted to push them a little bit harder to see and basically they got to the point where they said they're not allowed to share any of the information I don't think they have it but they said it's not like it they we can't. kind of thought that might be the case though right yeah so then I walked out and there was a lady who was sitting in there both times quite a young girl well like early 20s and she came running out after me about two minutes later and stopped me before I got to the car and basically was like she was really nervous she was shaking actually she was like hey I'm sorry I heard you overheard I just have to try and help you and so she explained that her family are doing a family tree but they're from uh, from Czech or from Czechoslovakia as well she's basically given us some comp uh, information it's that like I'm a mafia like family tree it is a <laughs> company so I can give that to my family to um, to dig further into it cool. we're not gonna get we won't be able to do anything today with it but cool that we found one little piece of the puzzle that we can sort of um, yeah my family can go away and dig further into the family tree that's so cool cool all right now it's hopefully now it's still raining we're gonna go to the church found our way to what once was the house. This is the little walkway bit that separates the park or sort of empty block on this side. And then we think it was either like three houses back and it's hard to tell now because obviously houses are a lot bigger. So it's potentially one out the front there that's maybe two. And then this is sort of the third or fourth spot back. So it was sort of somewhere in here which is, uh, yeah, is sort of somebody's playground by the looks of it. There's a little <laughs> soccer net there that house is two or three itself so that's back the other side and we think that this should have been about eight lots or so so yeah it's sort of somewhere in this middle bit here that my family lived for hundreds of years and multiple generations with kids born and everything in the house i think How do you feel? 
weird. It is weird. It's yeah. really strange. It, like it felt almost like a little bit of a rush running around and trying to figure all this sort of stuff out. And now I'm here and I just feel like, I feel calm. Yeah, it's cool. Eh? It's really nice. There's like birds chirping, raindrops gently hitting me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's obviously nothing here. We knew that luckily from looking at Google Maps. It's, it's an empty lot and we were never going to like stumble across and have supper with my family and everything was going to play out perfectly. But we've really, really enjoyed this journey of figuring, figuring all of this out. And it's really cool to be back here and to know that I'm the first and to date only person in my family that has been to the Czech Republic, let alone come right here to where like my family were living here. It's just, yeah, it gives me, uh, Chills. Well, it gives me the chills a little bit to know that literally there is so much history on the right, spot right here. here. So it's really cool. I hope it's been an interesting video for you guys to follow along and just see something a little bit, a little bit different for us. The next video we're going to be doing is a beer tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not different for us. That's not different. This shows the contrast of us uh, tackling different, different subjects. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we've had an awesome one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for following along. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.